What's up YouTube, it's Makulai1 here. Today I'll bring you my tournament diary for the UK National Championships. Uh, that was last weekend. And I did okay, to be honest. I did a lot better than I thought I was going to. Um, we played 10 rounds, which is really a bit too long for one day. I wish I kind of put two rounds to the Sunday. But, no. Oh. It was a great uh, test of the consistency of my deck, and it worked out reasonably okay. I went 7-3, uh, losing uh, in the final round, uh, game 3, and that's what put me out of contention for top 32. So just uh, stumbling right at the last hurdle. But, oh well, maybe next year. Uh, overall, I came 39th out of 500 plus players. I can't remember the exact number. But yeah, uh, here are my matchups. Uh, round 1, I went against Prophecy, which I admittedly hadn't tested for at all. Um, just because I wasn't really expecting people uh, to be playing them a lot before Tachyon was legal, because uh, Tachyon wasn't legal for this event. Uh, game one, I got wrecked fairly quickly. Um, I willed him down quite a lot with a yellow gadget that got veiled, and just kept drawing back row, and he just played through all of it, and I couldn't see another monster. So, yeah. Managing to uh, attack successfully th three times with the yellow gadget was pretty funny, I thought. Uh, games two and three, um, I kind of just dominated, to be honest. I sided in MSTs and Dust, and just used them during the end phase on, the, on his Fate and uh, T, Roar, and stuff like that. I think in total, I'm just looking at, my, looking at the numbers now. The last uh, two games, I lost a total of 500 life points. So, yeah. So that was a win. Uh, second round was against Wind Up, which again I wasn't expecting because they've kind of fallen out of favour. Uh, still, obviously, a good deck though. Um, I won this 2 1. Not really much to say on this, but I just had everything. And game one was dominated by Trag, because I opened uh, Trag, uh, various bits of back row and a warning. I set the warning and kept the rest in hand to beef up Trag, and that really paid off, because Trag was being face on like 3k for at least three turns. Uh, I lost game two, uh, he just pull everything out of the hat, to be honest. Uh, I had a decent hand for the next turn, but I was only on like 2750. That's really easy to do in wind-ups. And then game three, I didn't drop below 7k, I just had absolutely everything. Round 3 was wind-ups again, and I lost this 1-2, uh, lost game 1, won game 2, and then uh, game 3, I was in a position where I had rivalry up, a set storm, and I think a set breakthrough or something, um, and I had... Uh, a set, uh, no, a face-up template which he can beat over with his rabbits, and a set um, on a face-up red gadget, which was the same thing. Um, and it's a situation in which I was fairly confident I could win if I could just top deck a level four monster, which isn't exactly a big ask in gadget. Cause I know he had because he's been uh, cycling uh, rabbits with uh, factories, and I know he had Magician Shark, so I was going to go uh, Shockmaster, Core Monster, I was going to go Storm, Shockmaster, Core Monster Effects, and just kind of beat him down as much as I could. Um, but 
yeah, I drew like an MST or something, and no, I think no, it wasn't MST, it was Lance, and uh, yeah, he got the MST to my rivalry and just went up, flip it up for the last. I think it was like under a K. So that hurt a lot. Uh, round four was against uh, L Swarm. Game one, I just kind of dominated because he didn't really see. He didn't get Ophion before I got Fortress, essentially. And then game two, uh, this was a 2 0 to me. Uh, game two, he opened Ophion, but my hand was um, 2 DD Assailant, 2 Gear Frame. Storm and something else good. So I just set a sailor and he, he he summoned a heliotrope I think it was, so I was afraid he's gonna be over the assailant um with that and kind of not really do much with it, but no he attacked with the Ophion. I think he thought it was um a tin plate maybe. But yeah, I won out from there. Uh round five was against Infernity I lost this O2. I just can't do anything against the deck. Um, yeah, I got some shots in with some gadgets, but that's about it. As soon as he started going, Lavarval chain, Lavarval chain, set barriers everywhere. There's not much I can do. So yeah, that was my second loss of the day. Uh, round 6 was against uh, Herald of Perfection dot deck. Uh, game 1, he got out uh, Herald and Christian. I just scooped because there's no real way I can get around it. Uh, game 2 and 3, I didn't drop a single life point just because I opened Defissure and Banisher both games. And he had nothing to get around them. So. Yeah. Uh, round seven was Sam's. As soon as I saw that he was playing Sam's, I started sweating because gadgets don't really like Sam's or with Shien's negation and just the general spamming. But I two owed this. I just is this one of those games where you're not really plus. Um, you just have the perfect amount just to counter everything they do. Um, and yeah, reborning the Barkion game one and then the Xi'an game two helped, obviously. Uh, round eight was against uh, Prophecies. Uh, this was played against uh, Fuzzy XYZ92. Uh, some of you may know him, some of you may not. Go check him out. Um, he's a really cool UK YouTuber. I'll drop an annotation somewhere. Um, yeah, I think I opened Warning both games, and just kind of, I don't know, I just kind of outmaneuvered him a, bit, a little bit, to be honest. Um, yeah, I just had an answer to pretty much every play he had. Uh, game 1 was a bit easier than game 2. Uh, I'm kind of, I feel a bit bad about how I won game 2. Um, I reborned his priestess and poked him a couple of times. I think I think I only got one shot in with priestess, um, one direct attack um, before he got round it. Um, then I poked with some other stuff. Um, I had a tin plate and a gadget out. He was on fifteen um, with just a tower, I think. Um, uh, three cards or four cards in hand. I attack with the. Uh, Goldfish, he drops Trag, um, but he's on 700 at that point, so I just made uh, Cowboy and burned him for game. So, yeah. Uh, round 9 was against Mermel. I 2 0 this. Um, yeah, just running Double Dweller in the extra. Pretty good. And then final round. Um, was another Vermel which I lost to put me out of top 32 contention. 
game one I lost because I opened Judgment and used it almost right away and 4k is really easy to put on board with uh, Mermel so yeah game two I just put in work with Dwellers and Banishers not very much else to say uh, game three was quite long I managed to survive for quite a while I'd only, I'd only done like th three or four maybe 500 damage um, what really sealed this was I'm not sure if he mained it or sided it but he played Swords of Revealing Light um, and I didn't have an MST he had a chained Megalo up which I could have gotten round if it wasn't for the swords and the swords just allowed him to um, get all the answers he dusted my chain uh, summoned Diva and just went into that OTK. I think I had a Gigant or something up. Um, kind of disappointing because my hand at that point was a tin plate, a live gadget, and a banisher. Um, obviously, had I known if he, had I known he was going to go Ape Show next time, I would have made my stroke over Gigant. But that's all in hindsight, I guess. So yeah, that put me on X3 and out of the top, uh, I'm still very happy with 7-3 uh, last year I went 4-5 with Lancer Frog so I'm just happy to go positive okay let's go into the deck list it's, f it's really standard I don't think I've actually changed it at all from my previous videos on it so or maybe one or two alterations uh, triple gear frame, uh, double fortress, one cannon, two of each gadget, uh, triple tin plate, excellent card, two trag, these put in a surprising amount of work, I almost considered uh, cutting them because they'd been a little bit lackluster against the evil thorn matchup, but no, they're fine. Uh, spells, Reborn, Dark Hole, Storm, Double Duality, Avarice. Uh, I don't actually remember resolving this a single time. I mean, I might have done and just forgotten about it, but... Oh well. Uh, two Lance, he's put in an amazing amount of work. And two MSC. Traps, to Fiendish, to D Prison, to Bottomless, uh, one each of the Solemns, to Torrential, to Force, and Road. Road was okay, I think I drew it three times, uh, resolved it once, it got warninged the second time, and uh, the third time I had it set, but won anyway, so. That's that. Extra. Two Gigant. Utopian Ray. Puppy. Emerald. Uh, my Stroke. This killed about four Catastas. So, excellent card. Uh, Die Wolf. Pearl. Cowboy. Shockmaster. Uh, two Dweller, Big Eye, and Stardust for the Road. Uh, side deck, uh, it was kind of a bit hastily tweaked. I know there's a couple things I would change with it now. But yeah, uh, two Rivalry, one Shadow Imps, uh, I'd definitely bump this back up to two. One Neko Mannequin, because I was fearing the Gishki FTK bullshit. Two Assailant, he's just slayed Ophion and really good. Uh, Dust, um, I would have uh, put a Night Beam over Dust, but my Night Beam was in my side event deck, so I thought Dust would be sort of good enough. So, that's that. 
Uh, one breakthrough. Kind of need to get another one. I only own the one. Uh, third MST. Double banisher. One soul drain. And triple fissure. So yeah, that's all I have to say really about Nat. Uh, kind of pleased how it went. Uh, big congrats to my friend Jamie who top 16 I think, if I remember rightly, with Mermel. So um, I'll put a link to his channel as well, somewhere. But yeah, this has been Uzmak Kunai1, signing out.